deposition. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Mulud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? Yeah. Or would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what, so what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. Okay. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Hmm. You know, oh, you know what? Yeah. Again, it makes sense because the mom is in it on it, so. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed or were made to believe that their master was dead. You have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberward on business after visiting you here. The fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Okay. Griffiths don't exactly make for easy prey. Oh! Of our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Oh, nice. I made it. All right, if he's over here, then shoot. Where would he be? Let's um, let's go ahead and hop off. I'm about to say, if he just dropped that. Oh, shoot. That is surely a griffin. And I hated those things. This is a stranger paradise. Let's go. Oh, I couldn't see him. I'm okay. What is going on with me right now? Oh, 
Dang it. Did I not make it? I'm trying to get the timing on this move. There. Whoa! I, I ended it like that. I didn't know that did damage. I thought it was just some um, stagger. Oh, nice. I don't like the spot that I'm in right now. Oh, got me in the air. Oh, that's not ready yet. Bam. Bam. And he's gone. <laughs> That was slick. I'm making him republic. Oh, that's why. I think this is where we started. Uh, I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Ah, there she is. There we go. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? No, I call you too posh. What's up with you? Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Oh. Just to turn it Assassin's Creed. Feel like a high value cutscene right now. Good day to you. Eating? 
Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? <laughs> would rather be my squire. Too old for a squire. Who's up here? Josh was here. He's so close. <coughs> oh no. He's getting worse. Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Does she know who Clive is or what he looks like? And what he said since his brother is close? Like that shot right there. Hmm. Ah, mead. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skim, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. Yeah, that's that true. Cooker, then. Yep. <laughs> oh, he heard. God dang. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Oh, no. God dang it, Uncle. Uncle? Sorry. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Friend. Yo, this one shot is crazy. <laughs> Throw the plate. Throw the plate. to lose Friend. stay back uncle gladly 
Come on. Who wants some? That move so much. Ah. Bravo, my boy. Just like that. It's over. I'm about to say you bot gotta be going after that. Run this place down. Bam! <sighs> Super satisfying. I don't care if I did it with no skill at all. Trouble. Uh, <laughs> word of advice, miss, that soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> okay, she's seen that. Does she know Clive? I need that answered now. Your grace, your brother's here. Now's our chance. You should be fine. Your grace? I'm fine. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He'd be able to sense. Oh, okay. He was. His his, you know, his brother's near. Okay, never mind. It wouldn't have been. Oh, dang. He just left. Crap. Why does he keep running away from him? I wanted this I want to see this reunion. What is it now? It oh. is nothing. Let's go. Oh. He came right back, like, oh, your friend is all right, let's go.
we didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. The Rawlers said it themselves. Their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. I mean, we can tear them up. This, this ain't no problem. Lights and pots! What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Dang, okay. I keep you long. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? Hmm. <laughs> question. God dang. If I wanted to find the Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Like this one, willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want, always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. <laughs> we might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. So what trouble? And it's if more you're going to give us orders, be clear about them. Damn you! Right. Manners, grey beard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. Oh. <laughs> what did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Oh, we're gonna split up. Goodness. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. No, oh, we here to do good stuff. That's it. When I was a girl, I would wave to the boatmen as they set off on their long journey. And they would throw me sweetmeats in return. Such happy times. Sweet meats, what is that? 